All right, DC. I see you. With your mid credit scene and shit. Today on Readers Reviews, I review Teen Titans Go to the movies. And the movie pretty much follows the Teen Titans as they currently exist in trying to prove to the big leagues that they're just as like serious enough to be made into a movie as like the likes of Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. Part of that means they have to have an arch nemesis. In comes Slade. And through various hijinks throughout the movie, the Teen Titans pretty much fight Slade in order to prove to everybody that they're like superhero material, like legitimately superhero material and not just, you know, jokes. Which means they have their work cut out for them. So as far as the story is concerned, I immediately acknowledge that this was a parody movie from the get-go. But it's a parody movie with the plot of the movie adaptation of Josie and the Pussycats, and it works. And that mostly has a lot to do with it despite being a movie specifically aimed at children. The movie was also aware that it was going to attract the attention of a lot of 20s and 30s DC and superhero geeks, and it pretty much caters a lot of the jokes to them. Us. I'm, I'm, I'm one of them. And it wasn't afraid to make fun of itself either, and by itself, I mean DC Comics, DC Films, and just just the entire superhero movie genre itself. And I kind of appreciated that, because let me tell you, when every time that this movie pretty much just roasted DC Comics and DC Films in general, I was, I was pretty much laughing out loud. Like the Batman movie that they were plugging in this movie was called Batman Again. I was dead. I fucking died right there in the movie theater. <laughs> so with that being said, let's talk about some of the characters that stood out to me the most, starting with the Josie of this movie, Robin. Now, in order for the plot and the overall moral of the movie to actually work, the centerpiece had to be Robin. Not necessarily because he's the leader of the Titans, but mostly because out of all the Titans, he's the one that's immediately connected to one of the bigger heroes of DC, which means that he wants to be more in the limelight. He's the one that wants to get out of Batman's shadow and be on par with him. And the rest of the Teen Titans pretty much help him live his dream because giving your love and support to friends is something that friends do. And that's a moral, that's a side moral that this movie does a good job of teaching as well. They also take into consideration how Robin is portrayed in Teen Titans Go. And it translates well and it helps with the overall pacing and exactly everything that you're trying to accomplish on screen given how the plot is and how the character is. And it worked pretty well. And when it came to Slade, I never would have imagined that I would enjoy Will Arnett voicing Deathstroke until I saw this movie. And that's, that, that's, that's honestly pretty much it. <laughs> no, seriously, Slade's role and motivations were definitely textbook campy villain. Will Arnett helped Slade mesh pretty well with this iteration of Teen Titans. And in doing so, added about the same amount of fun as the rest of the cast brought. Other things I liked about this movie was how they used different animation styles whenever they took jabs at different things. Like they took a jab at Batman the anime series, so they used the Bruce Timm style animation. They took a jab at the Lion King, so they used the fucking Lion King animation. Jesus Christ. And out of all the fights with Slade, I would have to say that my favorite one was their like first fight slash second meeting with Slade. Not only did the Titans show off their team dynamic like extra hard in that fight, but it was also one of the most on par with other superhero team fights in like TV that Teen Titans Go, in my opinion, has ever produced since they became like a full fledged TV show. And then there's the musical numbers. Yup, it has musical numbers, bitch. And one of the musical numbers are sung by the Lisa Frank persona of Michael Bolton and I can't. And while I definitely walked into this movie theater knowing good and damn well what to expect, if I have to nitpick, I would say that my one dislike about this movie is just how abrupt the ending was. 
which was pretty much one of the main jokes that didn't necessarily land with me because it was their attempt at make taking a jab at how like abrupt endings are in like superhero movies and movies in general but that's not really fair considering that a lot of superhero movies and like regular ass movies nowadays has like proper resolution and shit when it comes to them wrapping up plots but with that being said readers overall teen titans go to the movies was fun right i like the fact that it was a parody movie i like the fact that it took jabs at itself i like the fact that it took jabs at previous and current dc films and I enjoyed the fact that both adults and children could enjoy this movie equally. If you don't have a problem with Teen Titans Go! The television show, you'll probably enjoy this. With that being said though, matinee. 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 Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below what you thought of Teen Titans Go! To the movies if you see it. I don't even know why I have to say it. Half y'all ain't going to see this shit. No matter how I, I'm, no matter how much I praise it, fuck it. But you know what? If you're like me and you've seen it anyway, write in the comment section below what you thought about it. As I've stated in previous videos, I will be making some changes to the merch store come August. So if you want to help support the channel and purchase the official merchandise that's currently available, you can click the card at the end of the video or in the link in the description down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis 101. Class dismissed.